Hi folks, today we're gonna to try and tackle some of the rust on the Piaggio moped, so come along. Right, well I basically stripped everything off that I wanted to around the front area of the uh, Piaggio moped. As you know, this is all made out of metal. The metal needs some attention, there's some rust on it and a couple of dents as well. So I'm just gonna take the grinding wheel now just to grind off the surface to see what we're left with and then I'll start working on it. So come along, I'll put you on time lapse. Right, okay then, that's uh, that's probably the worst bit ground the way. Let me just get a bit of cloth, just to show you what we're left with. Now again, this is just like the first part of the rust removal. So as you can probably see there, we've got some pitting, nothing's actually gone through, but uh, we've still got this crease to dig out there. Most of the rust has been removed now, as you can see, but what I'm gonna do is also paint this surface with the uh, vac tan treatment, our rust removal treatment, as you know what that is. I'll give it one more sand down first of all with some 80 grit just with just by hand and also dig this crack out there and uh, then obviously we're going to put a thin skimmer filler over the top of this and uh, that should then keep everything at bay once it's been converted once the rust has been converted so I'm just going to give this a little bit of an 80 grit now dig this out and then uh, I'll, we'll come back and we put some vac tan on it right I've also got these two dents to try and push out here as you can see that there's one there and also one there now this metal is quite thick you can't actually go behind it and push it out with your hand that would have been uh, a lot easier if it we could have done that so what i've got to do is just to sort of hammer and dolly these out a little bit and uh try and get the shape back again and then finish off with a little thin skimmer filler so i would also do that as well so now again ideally you'd want um some bodywork hammers for these mine are all down the unit with jimmy so i've got to do my best to sort of uh a, a, use a, a sort of dolly and a hammer the best way i can to try and sort of get these dents out there and the way I'm going to do that is to sort of sort of hold back on the high parts and just tap on the low parts and hopefully we can get these out a little bit so just bear with me and again you haven't got to go mad when you're doing this I'm only using gentle taps here this one's a little bit more awkward because I can't really get right behind it now I'm doing what you call hammering off dolly. In other words, I'm not hammering directly on the thing like that. I'm holding the big heavy lump on the outside and I'm tapping the inside. Just change over to a smaller hammer there so I can get in just behind this little bit back there. Now what we should find now is that when I get the grinder on here now, hopefully the grinder will take off this paint here now that we couldn't get to before because it was a lot lower. So that will give me some sort of indication that we've actually pushed this dent out a bit. So let's do the grinder again.
Right, okay then. Well, as you can probably see there, the dents are virtually out. Let me uh, get you a bit nearer so you can see. I don't know if you can see there that the curve is virtually back there now. And all we've got is two little tiny dents there where the paint's not touched. So I've actually removed all them dents there. And I could really just dig this out with a bit of uh, emery paper. And just put a little thin skimmer filler just over there. And that's going to be absolutely perfect. So as you can see there, we've actually removed them dents there. And we've got our nice curve back again. Hopefully you can see that from the angles I'm trying to show you. And I'm well pleased with that. So that's a good repair done there. Now with these repairs here, I had to overfill these. For the simple reason being, as you look in the back of these, very hard to get access in here. So I got most of them out. I was able to come up from underneath and push quite a bit of it out, but just to finish off, I had to sort of smooth them out. So these are gonna have to be uh, sanded back. Coming around the vehicle as well, we've got some small rust on the inside. I'm not too bothered about that, but I will sand this back by hand and then just treat that with a vac tan treatment, just like on these seams as well. I'm just gonna give this a, a sort of a Scots Brite and a clean down on the inside, cause I will just give this a, a rattle can paint on the inside with black. No need to go with the uh, top coat and the clear coat in here, it's all covered up anyway. So that's what I'll do for the underside in here. So yeah, well pleased with that. Now I'm gonna work on this now, dig this crease out here and these little bits here around the rivets there, and then we'll give this all a vac tan and a, a rust treatment. So let's do that. Okay then, so we've ground everything out now. I'm just gonna give this a little bit of a clean over with some um, panel wipe. All these have been dug out now, as you can see there. We've got the bare rust there. Get right into them cracks there, as you know. <clears throat> so all I'm basically doing is just literally just cleaning the surface here, just preparing it for the, um, the vac tan treatment, which is a rust treatment. Right, okay then, this is the uh, vac tan treatment, which is a rust converter. And all we're going to basically do is just literally get it well in that joint there and just paint all this bare metal which was rusted or showed signs of surface corrosion just coat it all up with a vac tan treatment and then this will chemically convert the rust so that it don't come back and we can then go over the top of this with a slight skim of body filler and then sand it and prep it for paint so i'm just going to go along so i'll see you in a minute and finish this off Right, okay then, so I think you get the idea now on how we're gonna progress with the uh, bodywork now. The rest of the paint doesn't need any treatment to it at all, apart from a, a gentle rub down. This, this is factory paint now, so there's no real need to remove all this. It just needs preparing for a new base coat, for example, and a new primer. So all I'm gonna do is go over the whole lot now and give it a good key up and uh, give it a good clean up as well. So hopefully when we come back, the vac tan will be dry and then we can carry on. Just go and fill in the little bits where we need to. So I'll see you a bit later. Right, okay then, 
I've, I'm still waiting for that vac tank to go off, but I thought I'd just give this a little sand down. As you can see, this curve here, which was heavily dented in, and uh, as you can see, I've got quite a nice curve on it now. And you might have seen in the um, time lapse video, I squirted some paint on it. Well, that was just to give me a guide coat, so I could actually see where it was leaving paint, in other words, where it was a bit low still. So I was going across in this sort of action, sort of one way, and then coming back and going the other way. And that stops you from getting any sort of grooves by just going in one area basically all the time. You can do this with a soft pad as well. I know I was using my hands, but I know what I'm feeling for. If you're sort of a beginner doing sanding, get yourself a soft pad, uh, something like a, a soft foam block, for example. Put the sandpaper around that, and that'll stop you getting grooves in one area. But as I say, I'm, I know what I'm doing. So, But if I run my hands along there now, I'm feeling for imperfections, and I can't really feel a lot. There's a few little divots on there. Very, very slight one there. And there's one there as well. But all I would do then would spray a guide coat on there again now, and then get a sort of a, a something that's going to match the curve, in other words, like a soft pad, and then just gently rub away the black paint, and you'll see bits of black paint being left. Now that would indicate that they're low spots, and that's where you've got to put a bit more filler, probably. Very difficult doing a sort of a compound curve like this. Compound curve is a curve that goes in one direction, that way, for example, and also in another direction. That's a compound curve. Very hard to replicate. So using a guide coat, squirting some paint on there, for example, and then just using a soft pad that molds to the shape, and then just gently going over that with some 80 grit on the soft pad, will reveal the high spots and take away the paint, and leave the low spots behind, in other words, leave the paint there. And that gives you an indication of where you've got to put a bit more filler. Anyway, I've got some more to do on here now, and I'm probably going out for lunch in a minute anyway, so uh, I'm going to leave it here. Next time you see this, hopefully we'll have all this prepared. All this will be rough sanded down, ready for uh, a coat of uh, primer, for example. This only needs sort of something like 320, something like that, just to give it a slight uh, coat scratch up. And uh, yeah, hopefully we should get, be getting nearer to spraying. So I'll see you in the next video, and until then, bye for now.